Today we're going to be talking about simulation automatic convergence tools. So if you saw our last webinar on convergence when we did it manually, we went through and chose some arbitrary values to change our mesh in order to get a converged result on this stress. Now we're going to do it automatically. To do it automatically, you go to properties for your study, select the adaptive tab, and select if you want H or P adaptive. H adaptive changes the mesh size, while P adaptive changes the polynomial order. We'll look at both methods now. H adaptive will set our accuracy to be 2%, maximum number of loops 5, and say OK. Everything else is the same. This is the basic mesh, and the forces and fixtures are exactly the same as the original test. And now we'll run. Now the H adaptive will automatically go through, and it already did it to the 98% accuracy. And now if we right click on results, we can say, take a look at adaptive convergence graph. And we'll say, look at accuracy. You see, it took a very educated guess and got it in just one try. And it got to the exact value we had before, about 101 with the manual method. Now if we take a look at the mesh, you see it's enhanced it in this area in order to get a better result. Now if we do it with a P method, We'll go back to the basic mesh again. And we'll go to our adaptive tab and say, look at P method. And we'll take a look at when total strain energy is, say, 0.05% or less. And run. Now, this won't change the overall mesh size. Instead, it makes the mesh more efficient in areas. The question always comes up of when you would use either method. And the answer is really depending on your study. For larger studies with complicated mesh, it's better to not increase mesh size, and thus P method is better. But for smaller, simpler parts, it's easier to transfer information and take a look at other convergence factors with a better mesh. So, for example, a fatigue study would benefit from that. So for smaller bodies, H is preferred. You see they get the exact same values in the same spots, even with this old rough mesh. Any questions, contact support.